Hello and welcome to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. Welcome back and if you're new here then welcome. And just a quick one like a uh, PSA really. So Nomad Sculpt has just dropped on PC. Now Nomad Sculpt is a very very cheap uh, sculpting app. It's 35 US dollars and that's a one time payment. Okay you can also pay uh, buy a plugin called Quad Remasher which a lot of you will already know about which you can get for um, PC um, and you can buy that for a single app or for multiple apps it's actually more expensive than Nomad Sculpt but it's worth having so I already had the multi-app version so um, I could install it in uh, Nomad as well um, so basically this is a really exciting proposition on PC because Obviously, we've got Blender, which is free, okay, and that's very, very good. Um, it does, it's not the best, it's not ZBrush. Nomad Sculpt's not the best, it's not ZBrush either. But it can do some things that ZBrush cannot, um, and the way that ZBrush can do some things that Nomad cannot. So ZBrush has a lot of tools, but it's quite janky and it's hard to use, and it's a little bit um, like riding a bike. Like, if you stop using ZBrush for a little while, you kind of got to like spend a couple of days like remembering how to use it again where something like nomad with its very easy to understand interface is very easy to jump in and out of i have it on my ipad and i've been using it for years now um and you can import your own tools and things like that um or, or create your own as well so you know you could like let's say i've got my crease brush here okay i want to add some definition right um but you can very easily just go down to the tool. You can add the rope stabilizer. You don't have to go through hundreds of settings to just go and find the one thing that you want to change. So that means it's easy to change and easy to change back. Where I feel like in ZBrush, a lot of these things are quite obfuscated and um, lots of menus and things like that. So um, this is really, really cool. And it's an exciting proposition overall. So. Um, another really cool thing about it is I'm currently in a PBR mode, right? So I'm actually got PBR lighting. I could add a PBR textures. Um, so I could, um, you know, bring the roughness down, give it a more plasticky kind of look, and then just go paint all. And I've got my own matte cap, and then I can actually change the HDRI as well. So um, we've got all of these environments. So I could change to this one, this one, this one so we've got different lighting you can add in lights um, you can add in lights to the scene and then move them around right so um, we've got that so this is a I believe a directional light but we could change it to a spotlight or a point light okay and move that around right so um, you can set up like a whole HD um, a whole PBR scene and uh, paint with vertex painting um, sort of PBR textures because there's roughness and metallic and, and, and PBR values in here and then you can then bake that actually within Nomad to another um, thing. So we've also got matte caps that you can choose from and you can import your own. If you're looking for some matte caps uh, to use for modeling I've got the Take Refuge Hard Surface Matte Caps Pack on my Gum Road, which you can find linked below. Um, and you can use those as well as making your own um, or finding them online. I also have a plugin called Matte Caps Forever for Blender, which you can um, it basically uh, infinitely generates matte caps. So this has got a lot of functionality. Um, it's a really great tool. And um, let me know below if that's something that you would like to see me make tutorials on because um, there's some really talented artists doing some really cool work with this actually and it's it's, just a, it's a really great software overall so um, I don't know some Dr. Robotnik kind of stuff going on there um, anyway see you guys all in the next one tschüss